When you're first starting out in Revit, trying to get the perfect 3D view can be kind of challenging. So usually you go up here to view, you click on your 3D view, and then your default 3D view kind of comes up and maybe you want to, you know, manipulate this view to get the perfect section. So I need to go down over here. I need to click on section box. And now that I have my section box, I can kind of click on it, maybe move it down so I can see inside my building. And maybe I want to, I don't know, zoom in on this bathroom area right here. So I'll just move my section box and kind of do all that. and. You know, as you can see, this is kind of taking a while. And, you know, if you mess around with this enough, you can you can spend hours, maybe days, maybe months trying to get the perfect section in your model. So today I'm going to show you my favorite trick for getting the perfect 3D views super fast in Revit. So let's start over. Now we're in this floor plan and maybe we want to get a really good 3D view of this women's bathroom right here. And so what we can do is obviously you can go up to the house and just click it and that's going to bring up your default 3D view. Now anytime you guys want to erase all the settings from your default 3D view, what you have to do is you have to go to where the 3D view exists so you can right click and you can say find in project browser and all you have to do is right click and click delete and then that will get rid of the 3D view. So when you create another one. Now it's completely default. There are no settings attached to it, okay? So now that I have my 3D view, I want to get a perfect section of that women's bathroom. All right, so what I would recommend is all you have to do is select all the items inside this bathroom. So what I can do is I can just select everything right here, and that's a good starting point. And then let's go back into our 3D view by clicking. And now that we're in our 3D view, all we have to do is use this little tool up here and this is going to be your friend. This is called the selection box and what it will do is it will select everything that you have selected and it will make it into a section box for your 3D view. So we're going to click on it and then you'll see Revit automatically sizes based on everything that you have selected. Now it also selected things on the roof because I must have selected like a drain or something so you could also you know go bring it down but now that was a lot easier. Now you'll notice that I have these walls and stuff that I really don't want to see and I also maybe want to see stuff in 3D. So the first thing we'll do is we'll change our detail level to fine because I want to be able to see these, these 3D pipes. Now I don't really want to see my walls like this so, so what do I do? Well you have to remember that the, the way Revit displays 3D things is by this discipline right here. So I can change that and since you know we're in plumbing trade let's change it to plumbing. And when we change it to plumbing, you'll see all the walls become transparent and, and that really helps things out. Now, I also might want to get rid of this section box because I don't really want to have to, you know, see it. Now, you would think, oh, I can just click this button right here. But when I do that, you can see my section box completely goes away and that's really not what I wanted. So if I click it again, that just resetted my section box and that's not what I wanted. So I'm going to hit the undo button. We'll hit it twice and we'll go back here. And the best way to hide this little section box is just to click on it, right click. And what we'll do is we'll hide it by the category. And now the section box is gone. So it's not distracting. I'm going to also hide my little level one floor plan. So we'll just hide it in view by the category. Now this is looking decent. Maybe I also don't want to have to see my walls. So I would just, you know, use visibility graphics so I can click VV and then, you know, click right here and then click hit the W and that way it'll scroll down to walls and just deselect the walls. And now I still have these little guys and I don't know why they're not, you know, maybe these are doors. So another way you can hide things is go down to this select links button and right now I can't select anything that is either pinned down or is a link. So I want to make sure these are unselected and now I can actually tab into things that are in my linked model. So I'm going to tab into that and you can see it's a door. So if I select, select it, you can see the category is doors and I want to hide that category. So I'll right click on it, hide and view category. And now you can see I have a nice 3D view of this bathroom so I can really take a good look at it. I can hold the shift key. Well, first I'm going to turn back on my select links button so it doesn't highlight every time. I'm going to hold my shift uh, button 
and then I'm going to use the middle mouse wheel to kind of rotate around in this bathroom and I can take a good look at it and I can zoom in and make sure you know my piping is looking correct and that looks great. Now this is actually set right now to hidden line so the visual style down here is hidden line right now but if I want to like more shaded view 3D view I can click on shaded and you can see now I can really see the 3D geometry of these things. So you can see that you know I've actually just done this little custom uh, box family right here and that kind of sh that's my custom fixture that, I, that I'm using to track all the fixture units. Now I'm going to definitely turn that off but you can just see it right here in this model. So that's kind of a good way. Here's another little tip for you. So let's say I'm right here and I'm looking at these lavatories. If I want to rotate around a certain object, if I click on it, so I'm going to rotate around this pipe. So if I click on it and highlight it, and now when I hit shift and I rotate, you can see Revit will rotate about that piece of pipe. So that makes it really helpful when I'm really trying to inspect my model and, and do certain types of things. So let's review kind of what I've been showing to you guys. So let's go back. So remember, if you ever want to go back to a default 3D view, all you have to do is right click on it here and let's just delete it. All right. And now when I go back up to 3D views, this 3D curly bracket thing means it's a default 3D view. Okay. And so all we have to do is we have to select what we want and then it will automatically make a section on it. So this time, let's say we want to zoom in on this water service room and I want to get a good 3D view of that. So let's just select all the piping in this view. Then let's click into our 3D default view and we'll click the section box and look at that. It's made a section of everything in that water service room. Now again, we don't want to see the walls and we don't want to see the section box. So I can right click, hide in view, category, and I can just set the discipline instead of coordination. Maybe we will just set this back to plumbing. And now I can see all of my piping. And remember, you can change your visibility down here or your detail level. You can also change it to shaded or I can change it maybe to consistent colors. There's a couple different options for you guys. I would recommend always using shaded or even wireframe um, does a really good job. It's really fast and, and it works really well. So I hope this uh, helps you guys. Now remember, if we want to get our section box back, I don't want to do click anything right here. All I have to do is bring it back with visibility graphics. So I click on VV and I go to the annotation category and I go to my section boxes, make sure it clicks back on. Now I can also, let me control Z that. Now I can also just use the light bulb here and it will show anything that's hidden. So you can see the section box is hidden right here. I can select it, right click, and I can unhide it in my view by the category. So there's, you know, two, two different ways to do that. It depends on, you know, what you like to do. Now I want to see the rest of this piping here so I can click on my section box and I can kind of drag that out. And you can see I can still manipulate it just like the old ways, but it, but it really helps to start off with a nice good section based on any selection you have. And so you can be kind of strategic in your selections. So if I want this whole bathroom right here, obviously I can select all this piping, but maybe I also want something over here. So I can also just hold my control button and select this piece right here. And maybe I'll select pull elbow right here. And now that I have those selected, if I go to my 3D view and then I use the section box, you can see it'll actually make a perfect selection based on that little elbow right there and based on the little piece that I selected over here. So that's just a really good way to um, make sections is using that little section box tool. Now I'm going to give you two more ninja tricks that will be pretty helpful for you guys. And so here's a way to do it without using that selection. So let's say I really want to get a fine selection on these water closets and and whatever. So you can do this. You can create a call out. All right. So let's say I just want these water closets and the piping behind it so I can use the call out. So now I'm just going to drag this call out and I'm just going to put it right there. Click. And now the call out's been created. I can click on the call out and I can find in project browser. And you can see that this call out has been created right here. So it's called sheet view dash call out one. So I'm going to go to my 3D view and I want to orient the 3D view to that call out, call out one. So I can cl right click on my view cube 
and I'm going to orient to a view and this would be a floor plan and I can go to sheet view call out one and it will automatically orient my 3D view to that call out. Now it's going from the top so if I want more of an isometric I can click this corner and look at that it does it perfect isometric of that view. Now maybe I want to go back to my hidden line for maybe like a riser diagram or I can use my shaded view to really inspect this this piping but yeah I think hidden line is going to be your friend when you're doing kind of like riser diagrams or really trying to show the contractor what you're doing. So I know you guys are thinking you're like okay that was great but I want to see something even cooler. Okay well I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to go ahead and open up one of Revit's template projects. So I just went to the Autodesk website and I found this uh, template file. I've never opened this before so let's check it out. So let's go to maybe a floor plan. Let's go to, I don't know, the second floor. And here we go. This is a nice pretty floor plan that the architect made. I want to take a look at this in a 3D view. Okay. So I'm going to go up to my view, hit the 3D button, and hopefully this is a default 3D view it looks to be. And again, we can change it to shaded and it looks like it's already in shaded and our detail level is medium right now. We can make it fine. All that's great. But let's say I want to look at this second floor, okay? Because I want to inspect it. I want to find out where I could put my pipe in this building. All right, so let's go to the second floor and we're going to make this the 3D view. So I'm going to go back to my 3D view and I'm going to right click. I'm going to orient to a view, floor plans, and we're going to use floor click and then we're gonna also click this little isometric button and you can see now Revit has oriented perfectly to the second floor okay now if I want to section box this even more I can also just you know I can just go over here to my section box and I want to make it visible so all we do is click the light bulb and you can see this section box is huge right here. And I can actually manipulate the section box while it's hidden. So I'm just gonna manipulate it so I don't see all this grass and hills. And then I'm just gonna manipulate it just like this. And I got my section box. I'm gonna zoom in. We'll turn the light bulb off again. And you can see I can now inspect my model and I'm looking just at the second floor. So Revit has made a perfect cut of the second floor so I can really inspect it. So this is just a really neat tool that you can right click and orient to any view and that way you can easily uh, see things in your model. Now what we can also do that might be helpful is maybe we want to zoom in on this stairway area and so what I can also do is if I go to my O2 floor maybe I want to zoom in on these stairs so I'm just going to use my selection. I'm going to go back to my 3D view and now again I'm going to use my section box and it made a perfect cut of my stairs but I want to see them all the way up through the building and so our section box is but we need to see it so we're gonna click on our reveal hidden elements we have our section box right here let's just bring it all the way up and bring it all the way down and now we can see everything we'll turn that off and would you look at that now I can see a complete view of just the stairs in my model so, you know, if I need to run fire protection piping and my stand pipes, I can use this technique to really get a good view of anything that I need. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This has been a game changer for me when I learned about the little selection box tool. And I hope that it changes your life. Now, using the section box or selection box is great, but if you don't know how to quickly navigate in Revit, you're gonna be very stuck. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to navigate your model way faster and using these really cool tips and tricks.